hello guys welcome to teacher gs channel and today we are going to be talking about uh, the steps of fertilization in flowering plants so in this uh, picture here you can see all the parts of a flower we have the anther and the filament uh, together called the carpel which are the male parts of a flower and then on the left we have stigma style ovary and the ovules which together are called carpel which are the female parts of a flower. So we have the petal, uh, which is always like colored, brightly colored to attract uh, pollinators. And then we have the sepal and the receptacle. You can check their functions in the previous videos that I've done in Let's Learn Science. So we start. In flowering plants, fertilization happens in a few steps and we're going to look into those steps. So the first one, is pollination. pollination pollination occurs when pollen moves from the stamen's anther to the pistil stigma stamen is also known as carpel in the diagram you can see where it's labeled carpel it encompasses the anther and the filament then we have germination occurs forming a pollen tube that travels through the pistil style creating a path for sperm to reach the ovary after that we have penetration of the ovary which is the third step the pollen tube reaches the ovule and penetrates through it through the micropyle, making an opening for sperm to enter the egg. Finally, fertilization takes place, merging the egg and sperm to create a zygote that grows into a new plant. There's also a second fertilization of two polar nuclei, creating a triploid endosperm that will serve as an initial nutrition source for the developing plant. And those are the steps of fertilization in flowering plants. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Teacher Gia's channel.